A lot of students get worried and they want to be the best prepared student ever and buy all the books that might be out there on the reading list just because they think that will help them pass the exams. In reality of things, you need to spend zero pound. You don't need to have a laptop, you don't even need a computer. There's um, the John Ryland's library, it's so huge, it's got massive com computer clusters. Internet access, Wi-Fi. Go into the library, pick the books you want, take them out for free. I actually made the mistake of buying a lot of books when I came to university. The BMA, which is the British Medical Association, has a library and for absolutely no cost they will ship to you if you give them good notice, more or less any book that you need and they'll collect it from you as well and that's free. So there's not really a need to buy books unless you're worried that you might not get a book in time, in which case there's maybe one or two core books that you need. And you don't necessarily need the newest edition because this information doesn't change on a yearly basis. You'll also find that students get lots of discounts for textbooks or anything that will support their learning. I think I, I've read two books and I think one of those I was, I was given for free at um, an event that I was at as part of my course. In year three, you get an iPad. That comes really useful. You're allowed to use that in classroom situations, in lectures, and sometimes on the wards you're allowed to use that. You get quite a few apps on there, prescribing apps, medication apps, and we also have access to free iBooks which you can access on the internet. There's obviously things like stationery, notebooks, and stuff like that. You know, a notebook would last me maybe half a term, so it's it, you don't have to pay for loads of stuff. 